It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a bottle of Hackney Gold from the Red Church Brewery coming in at 5.5% ABV. Golden Ale, Pale Ale at 5.5% ABV. Could be either. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Loads of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass. Wow, loads and loads of carbonation, look at that. Massive kind of three to four fingers of white head, slightly off white head. Deep, looks like a deep ale, the best bitter look to the beer. Nice levels of carbonation rising up the side of the glass. There's quite a, there's some nice big bubbles there in the glass, so it's going to dissipate. It is dissipating quite quickly, so um, I'm just going to show you the beer again, just before I get my nose in, because as you all know, the, the head will get in the way of the aroma. There you go. Nice look to the beer. Let's go ahead and get my nose in. It looks like it's going to hang around a bit longer than I wanted it to. Oh, but yes, 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 lovely. Um, now, there's only one way I can explain this aroma. Um, hoppy red ale. You all know that hoppy red ale aroma, that really nice sweetness from the malt. And that big, bold American hop finish. Smells great. Ooh. Now, I'm a little surprised why I don't know. Every beer that I've had from the Red Church Brewery has been absolutely fantastic. I think it's just their labels. Um, I'm not calling their labels boring, but... Gotta be careful here. They don't, you know, if there was on a shelf full of beer, there was there was beer everywhere, all over this massive shelves. It's not a label that would stand out and jump at you. So I suppose um, that's the reason. I suppose why I'm calling it a little bit, why I'm a little bit shocked by this great aroma to the beer. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, blimey! But stone the crows, will I feel the labels let down the beer a little bit just by its little bit of blandness. The beer makes up for it. It's an ultimate surprise. It really is. That is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely great. It's so hoppy. It's so grapefruity. It's so bitter. Biscuit, this sweetness from the malt. But the amount, the levels of hops in this beer is fantastic. But of course, it's nicely balanced. It's a big sweetness. It's a big, bold sweetness. Sorry, I'm going to let on to you. I've got the worst itchy nose. Oh, it's driving me bonkers. I'm holding the glass. I'm just a... Oh. Apologies. Big apologies there. It's such a great beard and, and my nose is letting me down completely. It's just one of those unscratchable noses that you just can't, you can't itch it. It just won't go away. Um, let me have a second. Let me concentrate. Right. Okay. This is a magnificent beer. Hackney Gold. It really is. 
Um, what I was saying earlier about being surprised, I shouldn't be surprised because their stout was fantastic. Um, their IPA was absolutely mind blowing. The the name escapes me now, but I think it was a big seven percent beer. It was phenomenal. This is just as good. It's just good. Different class. Different class of beer, slightly lower in the ABV, but boy, what it what it kind of lacks in the ABV, it makes up on in utmost flavour. It's such a big, powerful, flavoursome beer. Grapefruit, mango, apricot, big juicy punch bowl of a beer. And then you're waiting, and then the onrush of that bitterness just hits you, and you think that's it, there's no more. But then it raises to another level, and another level, and it's kind of really kind of cloning at your palate. Fantastic stuff. And look at the lacing on the glass. Um, it's just the way I review beer. I know earlier on we, we ran into a little bit of trouble with my nose, but I think it just adds to the, it just adds to my videos. Um, I don't see the point in chopping bits out and, and, and messing about with the video. And I like to add photos. If you've noticed, I've started to overlay photos as I'm talking. Um, I've had some nice comments coming back saying uh, we like it. I've had some comments saying go back to where you're just yourself with a beer in the glass. And I've thought about it and I'll tell you why I think about it. It's because overlaying the photos and, and that little bit of editing just takes a little bit of the fun away of the videos for me. Um, I was talking to another beer reviewer about this about hitting that next level of so-called quality with your videos. Um, but it then becomes really hours and hours of, of editing. And I've always maintained, if I stop enjoying it, if I stop enjoying doing this um, in front of the camera, which I never will, but if I stop enjoying even the computer part of it, then then it becomes a chore, doesn't it? And I don't want it to become a chore. I'm still enjoying it, I'm loving it, um, but the editing is is a little bit of a chore, but it's, it's worth it, you know, it's worth it because a lot of you like it. I've noticed the viewing figures are going up, um, and that's what we want, really. We want more people to view, uh, more people to find us, um, just to spread the word of great beer. But anyway, Anyway, we'll start with the conversation about my nose again. Um, let's get back to the beer. That is a phenomenal, phenomenal beer. Look at that blindingly good lacing, that lovely thick head on there. The mouth feels a little thick and creamy and lovely and yeah i know they're doing well in london i know the red chest brewery are doing very very well there's a lot of people buying their beer and i will be one of them people uh, there's a lot of funky fashionable london breweries out there now um some of them put their beers in cans um but i believe i certainly believe that this 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 brewery here, the Redfish Brewery, can compete with anybody in the UK. Never mind London, anybody in the UK. It's a great brewery. Rating four, Hackney Gold. And at 5.5% ABV, this is an absolutely phenomenal. It's a fantastic pale ale, gold nail, call it what you like, Hackney Gold. Go out and try it. Lovely flavours, not lacking anywhere in the flavours. It's nice and sweet, it's nice and malty, it's a little bit bready. Then it moves on to being nice and kind of spicy with a little bit of rye in there, I believe. I, I imagine there's rye in there, it tastes like it does. Um, then you've got them great American hops, the mangoes, your, your little bit of pear, your grapefruit, your apricot. It's a wonderful beer. 
and then to top it all off, that lovely bitterness on the back end. This, for me, I can't take anything away from this beer at all. Even with that great big head, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews. I'm off to cut my nose off and cheers.